back when I was in sin, when I was in sin, I was really, really close to this person. Whether it was a woman or a man, it is still the same thing. Because when you get really, really close to a person, I don't know what the proper word for it, but perhaps it is soul tie, maybe? Okay, let me say this. Let's say that you glue this pamphlet here with this envelope and you let it dry for a day or two, right? And let's say all of a sudden you just pull apart the envelope and the pamphlet. What is going to happen? On this pamphlet here, where the envelope was glued at, you are going to see fragments of this envelope, right? And even on this envelope, you are going to see fragments of this pamphlet. So what I am trying to say, when you get really, really close to a person, and when things don't work well, or if things break up, it feels as though pieces of yourself is missing. And if you know how that feels, that is not a good feeling. After you shared so much of yourself to a person, after you became really good friends with a person, so when things break apart, that is horrible. So at that time period, I was hurt. I was angry. It got to the point where I hated everyone, even if I did not know you, even if I never spoke to you. I hated you all the same. Yes, it was really, really bad, really awful. So what point am I getting at? There are the same people or there are people who are that way now. Someone have treated you wrongly. Someone have done bad things to you. So what you do, hey, this is not going to happen to me ever again. So what you do, you go out and punish other people. Or you act in this way, this, I don't know how to call it. You act in this way as if someone is going to do something wrong to you at any second. So you act in this, not so much rude, but this, I guess kind of in a rude way toward a person that did nothing wrong to you, but you are treating that person in this weird way. And if a person says anything that you are doing wrong, even when you know that you are doing wrong, you blow up. You don't know me, so on and so on. What am I trying to say? You need to forgive your enemies or that person that hurt you, that got you to that point. You need to forgive your enemies and move on. You wonder why you have depression. You wonder why you have anger problems. You wonder why you want to kill yourself. You wonder why you are bipolar. You wonder why you have all of these mental illnesses. Many of them are due to you holding on to issues. We were not made to hold on to issues. How would it look like, hey, I am going to make humans and look, I am going to 
place something within them so that they can hold in hate, hold in disappointment, hold in this evil thing, so on and so on. God did not make us to be that way. Many of the time, people want to kill themselves because they constantly replaying those evil things that happened or were said to them over and over and over again. You have to get rid of that. You have to stop that. It is not a sin to get angry, but if that anger continues weeks and months and years and stuff like that, that is an issue. That is an issue. You need to get rid of all of that. And stop treating people as if they done something wrong to you when they have not done anything wrong to you, but you feel like you have to treat people in that way to protect yourself. You can't avoid getting hurt. Even when you are avoiding getting hurt, you are getting hurt by trying to avoid getting hurt. <laughs> How long have you been trying to avoid not getting hurt? But by acting in that way, that hurts you more. So you would think that you would stop doing that. You would think that you would forgive your enemies and move on because not forgiving them is hurting you more. So what you do, and what I did as well, I was foolish, yes, because I was hurt. I was hurting other people and not, man, I was seeing what other people were doing to me, but I was not seeing what I was doing to other people. And that is what you are doing as well. Hypocritical. Stop being self-centered. How has it helped you? How long have you been trying to protect yourself, but in truth, you have been receiving more pain while you have been acting that way? You can't avoid getting hurt. You are going to get hurt, but you are going to hurt yourself when you act in the way that you are acting. Well, Kevin, you know, my mom, my dad, my uncle, my cousin, it does not matter. Because the older you get, the longer you hold on to it, the worse it gets for you. Pity parties is not good for you. I don't know how many people I have spoke to and many of them want to have pity parties. No. I used to do the same thing myself. Want pity parties. Want to speak to a person about all the bad things happening to me and want them to pity me. And then each day it is the same speaking. That is not going to help you. What is going to help you is move on. Stop treating people, don't treat people as if they hurt you and have this attitude toward them as if they done you wrong when they are trying to help you or whatever else. Childish. Yes, what happened to you was wrong, yes. The things that happened to you, no one should have have to go through something like that. I understand that. But you acting the way that you are acting, you are digging, you are digging a deeper hole for yourself, making things worse. Look. 
we are going to be judged based upon what we say, what we think, and what we do. When you die, when you stand before God, can you say, God, you have to let me into heaven because you saw my childhood. You saw the people that have done wrong to me. This is the reason why I disobeyed your rules. What do you believe God is going to say to you? Depart from me. God sees everything, but yet he still wants us to abide by his rules and regulations. God knows bad things are happening to all of us. Myself, you would be shocked to see and know the things that are happening to me. I could be mad at almost everyone, not everyone, but I could be mad and hateful toward many people if I wanted to. But there is no life in that. No matter what a person does to me, backstabs me, steals from me, whatever. Yes, sometimes I may get angry and upset and I may not talk to you for, you know, a certain time period. But hey, I have to get over it. I have to move on because I am not going to carry that weight on me. What good is it for me to carry that weight? It is only going to harm me. How would it look like day after day, me thinking about the bad things that are happening to me? What good is that going to do? That is just going to bring me down more. If you think about negative things, that is how you're going to feel. What you are thinking and what you are speaking about, that is how you are going to feel. So if you are thinking positive and speaking positive, you are going to feel positive, really doing it out of your heart. Not just saying words, but at the same time you are saying it, like you may say positive things, but you are thinking bad things. That is not going to work. You have to think and speak positive in order to feel positive. I can't think in a negative way and speak positive and believe that I am going to feel positive when my thoughts are not positive. Get rid of your anger. When I hear that a person is depressed, what comes to my mind first, if you look really deep inside of anger, if you look really deep inside of anger, I mean, of if you really look deep inside of depression, you are going to see anger. Well, Kevin, that person doesn't really seem like an angry person. Look, if you look really deep inside of depression, you are going to see that that person is angry. If that person is really angry and they have been angry for years, you will see that that person have not forgiven their enemies. I have, Kevin, I have. I forgave my mom. I forgave my brother. I forgave those people. No, you haven't. If you are still holding on to your issues, you have not forgiven anyone or that person. I am not angry. Why? Because I don't hold on to stuff. And if I do hold on to stuff, it is not for a long time. Yes, I want to leave this world because I want to go to heaven, but I am not angry at anyone. Yes, people may irritate me and I may not want to speak to that person, but I don't, I don't hold on to things because it does not profit me 
it does not do anything good for me to hold on to mess. I pray that makes sense there. Ordinary anger is fine. You know, you stay angry for a few hours, blah, 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 or perhaps a day. But if it turns to weeks, no, that is wrong. Kevin, I have been angry ever since I was like 10. You have an issue. You are never supposed to be angry for that long. I know for myself, when I was in sin, I believe I was <laughs> angry since I was a kid to kid all the way up to, you know, I say for years. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.